All right, here we have our sweet little 1978 uh, Toyota Hilux pickup. Um, she was built in December of uh, 1977, so it's coming up on its 40th birthday, but it is a 78 model. Uh, truck is completely original. Um, all original paint and body except for the bed has been repainted. And actually, this thing comes with a stack of receipts from the original owner, uh, original sales um, documents that shows the purchase price. Um, it also shows, uh, you know, it came with chrome wheels from the fact from the factory. It was an upgrade and it's bought in Rodland Toyota right here in Washington, which is still in business. And it's only about 20, less than 20 miles from us. Um, but it came with a canopy and chrome wheels. It still had the chrome wheels on it when we got it, but they were the chrome spokes and a little bit, you know, 40 years isn't the best. So we found a nice set of, a uh, really nice set of, you know, first gen, second gen wheels and put them on. Uh, the tires were like new when we got it. Um, so we'll go ahead and go around it. You can tell this thing's been really well cared for by the interior and exterior door sweeps. I mean, it's amazing condition for 40 years old. I mean, those things are usually all cracked. Um, you do got wear and tear and stuff like that. The, the color may, in some photos or video, may give it a little bit more of a yellow tinge, but it's really, um, really close to like a hugger orange, a Chevy hugger orange, um, a Chrysler Hemi orange, stuff like that. Um, it's never been an accident. Uh, so why the bed sides were painted, I don't really know, but the tailgate hasn't been painted. But you will get weird little, you know, just wear and tear and stuff like that. Um, along the balance, there's a couple of dimples. Um, the front grille is in real nice shape. Uh, the the grill surrounding is plastic, so it's faded a little bit more. Um, the paint is a little bit thin, but still, 40 years old, it looks amazing. Um, this is really a rust-free truck, just a couple tiny areas. It does have some surface rust from the these mirrors rubbing. Original glass, it has some chips there. The outside rubber is a little bit aged. Uh, so got the original wiper arms, they're nice and tight. Really nice paint along the cowl. Uh, there's some cracks on the window on the other side. It's got a couple little dings, no soft dings with no paint damage that you could probably massage out from the inside. Uh, it is missing the headliner, but somebody painted in that air, the headliner cove black, so it looks good. Uh, you can see the rain gutters are just in amazing condition. You got a couple holes from, from the canopy that it had new. Uh, it does have a spray in bed liner. And you'll see the original, the tailgate is pretty much the, uh, looks the same as the, the cabin forward. The rear hatch is open, or the rear latch is open really nice. Tailgate super light, no rust. Still got its original cables and the plastics around it. Um, it's got 175,000 original miles, you know, so it's rolled over once. Uh, it's got a little mile log book that um, took care of most of the, the first 20 some years of its life and then exchanged hands, um, I believe in the late 2000s, but I'll go through the paperwork and uh, put that in the ad a little bit more specific. But uh, it's got its original Toyota mud flaps. You know, you have some chips. You're gonna, it's an original truck. I mean, the paint, the bed was repainted um, about, I think it was 10 years after um, it was new. So, but I'll put the date in there specifically um, in the description. You know, you do got a little surface rust there. Um, on the bottom of the doors, you have a little bit of bubbling. But as you can see, the bubbling is just under the paint. So it scratches away to nice solid metal. Um, so it's nothing to be real concerned about. Again, you got your little wear along there. You got your crack, it just continues there. It stops right there. You know, so you do have little chips, stuff like that throughout the body. You know, it's a 40 year old original truck, so you gotta, you know, kinda expect that. A little scuff in the valance. Um, but uh, just an amazing condition. You know, a little, little um, <clears throat> paint wore off there. You know, the plastics are all original, all the lights are original. Obviously, this guy's missing. You, know, they got, you just got, got that kind of patina and original wear. I mean, these trucks are just super hard to find. I mean, all these plastics are nice shape. The rear slider opens and closes. Uh, the rubber around the rear slider is in nice shape. Take you on the inside here. Interior's in really nice shape. Um, door shut, really nice. You can see it's just all original paint. The uh, It had carpet in it from like the 70s, so that's long gone, but um, you can get original matte. Um, and throw it in there, but uh, you can see how nice rust free the uh, The floorboards are I did get a floor mat from a 76. I thought it would work 
but the shifter was in a different location. I think those were four speeds. So you're more than welcome. If you want it, you can have it and try to modify it, but it's a rubber lining that goes, you know, pretty much snaps in. It all snaps in in all the right spots, but the shifter's in a different spot. But it's a cool truck because it's a, you know, bucket seat, console shift truck. So you get underneath here, it's just really nice, all original paint. You can see the original van, it's really nice and clean. I mean, these plastics are in killer shape. I mean, even these are in nice shape. I mean, these are usually sagging down, which just shows the condition of this truck. Door panels are really nice shape, the arm pull, you got a little nick there. The cubby's pulled back, so if you know somebody can sew, they can put it in there, or you can try to glue it and just be careful using it. Some of the plastics are a little faded. Um, dash is really nice, no cracks in the dash. The metal's nice, really clear gauges. All the gauges work, heater works. It's a non-smoker, um, never been smoked in. The lighter actually still works. You can see, uh, I'll try to pull it out here in the light a little bit, but you can see the coils are super clean. They never had a cigar or a cigarette on them. Ashtrays, really clean too. No cracks in the center console, but it's, you know, it's got some little little marks here and there. I'll go ahead and pop the hood when I'm over here. Uh, this isn't rust. What this was was, you know, when we got it, there were some bolts and stuff back here, and those bolts rusted. So if you went through with, like, super clean and, like, a, you know, wire brush or a nice bathtub scrub brush, you could get that to come up. But I want to make sure you didn't think that was rust. Yeah, the only weird thing about this truck is, is, you know, we've had it garaged all the time um but somebody welded here and then so you could pretty this up or you could just grind it down completely uh, but it looks like the seam sealer maybe got wore off by the canopy but this is just like a normal you know soft uh, seam sealer and you could re-seam seal it or just you know grind that out to smooth and throw a little you know maybe black primer on there or something to make it a little cleaned up but you can see all the rubbers around the door are still in nice shape they're a little dry but nice and flexible still you know, 40 years old is uh, impressive. You know, nice rust-free shape. Door hinges are in excellent shape. That's broken a little bit, but the arm pull. Um, don't have any gnarls in the vinyl on this side. Um, didn't mention the seat over there, but it is. Obviously, it's got some wear, and the, the cushion is a little broken down sitting on it. How about that? Passenger side seats in really nice shape, just a little wear there. Um, I'll pull out some of the paperwork just briefly and to go through it. But uh, a lot of it's just miscellaneous receipts and stuff. But it's cool, it's got uh, original paint touch up. Paint still is liquidy, but you know, it's not very good shape. But it's just cool to still have that. You know, got the mileage log book, a couple of them. Um, but you got your Toyota safety warning, warranty information. Just a bunch of cool stuff. Here's the original purchase order from Rodland Toyota. 78 Toyota. It says chrome bumpers, chrome wheels, Del Mar mirrors, front bumper guard, sliding rear window, in truck canopy with boot, easy slider canopy. And it says, uh, um, couple other it's got the double doors orange paint 5578 bucks you can see the date is 78 right there um, let's see it's got uh, you can see the the date also on there it's hard to read some of this stuff but you gotta get uh, Rodlin Toyota you can see up there just really cool to get this stuff you know it doesn't uh, you got your original Hilux manual, it's a little age. You got your original Toyota. Just see this stuff, 40 years to make it with this truck is just um, unbelievable. Another manual, um, just a bunch of cool stuff. You know, you know somebody really, you know, it wasn't just a truck for them, it was something they cared about to keep it, um, all this stuff, 40 years with the truck. It's a two owner. Uh, we got it from the second owner. In all honesty, if, uh, I could use this truck more I would keep it but you know I got a shop truck uh, 68 c10 and stuff and you know it's always been a want and need uh, here's the motor uh, it's got a new electric fuel pump it is electric fuel pump truck some of them are mechanical uh, new Weber carburetor uh, tune-up 
uh, stuff like that. Um, had the radiator replaced a couple years ago, so that's all in good order. But it's real clean and original underneath. Um, there is a little bit of rust right there, which is kind of a weird area. So you want to make note of that. Um, but all right. You know, I kind of kept this truck around because, you know, find a first-gen Toyota in this clean, original condition. Uh, this truck gets a ton of compliments and a ton of attention. Um, you know, it's got its original patina and wear and tear, but um, it's going to be hard to find one this clean again. So, all righty, good luck. All right, here we are in our cold start video of our sweet little 78 Toyota pickup. It's pretty much all original Survivor. It's got low original miles. I'm going to grab a hold of the exhaust manifold so you can see it's nice and cold. All original paint except the bed has been repainted. Amazingly, uh, we still have the original receipt. Uh, it's got new Weber on there, new fuel pump. It's electric fuel pump. Uh, so generally, I don't even pump it up. Fires up. <laughs> That's running. It is super quiet. Burning nice and clean. You know, if it sits for a long time, I've actually had this truck for about three years. Um, I kind of bought it to resell it and just fell in love with it. I put the um, the second gen wheels on there from an 81. The tires are like new. Um, you see it just idling nice and smooth. We had an electric fuel pump. It's an originally electric fuel pump truck, not mechanical. Had a Weber put on there a while ago. At the time, a new battery, but uh, you know, this thing's got loads of documentation. It's only a two owner, original purchase order, you know, uh, you know, log book on the miles. It's got all the original books. It's got two different little uh, paint chip deals. Um, I just fell in love with this truck, but unfortunately, I just, uh, you know, I got a C10 as a shop truck, and I hate to see this little guy just sit, so we're gonna go ahead and let her go. You see all the decals. And this thing with the Weber's got some scoot to it. It's, it's a fun little truck to drive, so I'm gonna let it warm up, do some pictures, and do a driving video. All right, here we are for the run and driving video of our sweet little 78 Toyota pickup. Just gotta replace the low beam, we'll, do good. we'll get that handled, and there's two other bulbs here that need to be replaced, but it's just been a while since I've driven the old girl. The little side marker lights will get done, put new bulbs in there. But uh, this is just a killer truck with, uh, you know, the door felts are in amazing condition, the rubbers, um, as we talked about in the other, the description video. Um, it's always been a Washington truck. It was purchased brand new at Rodland Toyota by the original owner. It comes with the purchase order, all manuals, books, a ton of uh, a, a mile log book. I'm um, just showing you the blinkers here. Um, a bunch of receipts. It shows the bed was repainted at one point um, a really long time ago, and that's still in there. Um, still got the original mud flaps. It's got killer original interior bucket seats, console shift truck. Um, all the windows roll up and down nice and smooth. They all lock nice and smooth also. And you got all your rubbers here are in amazing condition. Uh, so showing this truck's been, been garaged and well taken care of. Um, the original carpet um, has been removed. I've just kind of rolled with it the way it is. It's like sweet floors um, in great shape. It's got 75,659 miles. 175,615 miles. Original stereo in place, but it does not uh, not work. Uh, fan blows nice and smooth, nice and quiet. A wiper switch is a pull system. That's all the go she's got, and then you got low. Uh, Squirters still work. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that to you in a little bit. Five speed transmission. Shifts nice, you know, it's original, all original glass. It's got cracks over there, but Man, it's just amazing. Um, gauges are working. Got your high beam one on. Horns working. I'm gonna put them there. Amazingly, it's a, it's a non-smoker, no pets, no smells in here. Cigarette lighter still works. I'm gonna go ahead and push that in. So if you need to plug in your iPod or something, um, works killer. Um, but it uh, gets nice and hot. Never been used. It's still got that nice coiled silver look. It's just, uh, oof, got to turn this fan off. The, the heater works incredible. But, uh, I got these little tabs here. I'll put in the, uh, the pictures. You'll see them on there. I haven't quite done pictures yet. Um, 
nice clutch, feels really good, good transmission, nice synchros, um, no grinding, no sh sloppy shift, I mean it's nice and tight, just a nice, you know, nice forks with a good shift pattern. It's just got that classic 20R, uh, 20R little sewing machine sound, I mean it's just a killer truck. Um, nice tight steering, the tires are nice, uh, I'm going to hate to sell this truck, I put it up on eBay. Um, a long time ago and got about halfway through the auction and pulled it off because I do love this truck but it's a thing I want need you know it's uh you can't keep them all and it's just this thing needs to be driven and loved it just sits inside of the shop I take it out every once in a while but I mean we're doing 60 and fourth gear into fifth you know, it doesn't have a tack or nothing, but it's just, you can hear that little uh, Weber kick in. You can see how the mirror, it's burning nice and clean. It's just a great truck and it needs to be driven. It's uh, been extremely loved by its two owners and then, uh, you know, us as the dealership have had it for a while, and it's just been kind of snuggled in and uh, in the garage, and you know, to be really missed. But uh, it uh, just, you know, I got the shop trucks, the C10, and and this thing is just the cutest little truck, and it's just, man, you don't find first generation Toyotas that look this clean. I mean, look at the paint; it's just gorgeous. Uh, this thing it gets more attention than if you pull that Chevelle out of the garage. Um, or try a 5 Chevy and take it out because you just don't see these anymore. I mean, original mud flaps, original, you know, it's got the Toyota wheels, the second gen wheels on it that fit right in place. The beautiful 70s style paint. We're in third gear, just going through these rough bumps. I mean, you can just see how sound and solid this thing is. Dash doesn't rattle, door doesn't rattle, all the hinges are good. Um, you know, we got, here's a bump. It just soaks it up. I mean, there is just, this truck, you drive it, and it just puts a smile on your face with how it rides on the road, how it feels. Uh, the bucket seat console shift is just killer and it's super hard to find. The driver's seat material's a little bit, you know, you sit on it, you can feel it's a little worn, but it's comfortable. Um, it's just a, an era of a truck that is long gone and you just don't see them. These things got beat up so bad. Um, now finding an original like this in this condition is, is just just really hard to find. So I'm gonna downshift in a second. I don't want to hot rod on it too much because this is a residential area and I don't want to bother the neighbors. But it, it's killer, man! It gets up and scoots with that little Weber. It means that baby opens up and you just get that uh, just the a deep little 20R sound and she just squats and gets up and moves. So alright, this, uh, this is just a killer Toyota and uh, I hope it goes to another loving owner and you go through it and you look at all the videos and you look at all the 120 plus photos and look at the things that separate this thing apart like the dash. I mean just unreal. It's all untouched. Interior's untouched besides the carpet getting taken out but that was it was pretty ugly looking 70 style carpet. But all this stuff here nice shape not sagging down the, the door sweeps the rubbers um, all the plastics I mean it is just killer so good luck and uh, let me know if you have any questions